Egg before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c- You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you. For trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm Dean. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, Miss White would come back and kill more than one. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels and uh, they're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. Ah! You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. This fucking lap dog. He comes sniffing around this place. Rich fucks in the woods need a shake down. That right, Big B. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. There's no need to get aggressive. I'm trying to help you. Look. I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. Well, I'd appreciate if you'd fuck off. Big B, I've been interviewing people all night. And it's probably not the first time you've heard it today. Maybe you should take a hint. You're a detective, right? Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... Trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. <gasps> you missed a spot. Yeah, you, uh, you just smeared it across your face. You got a tissue or something? Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Just make it stop. 
Stop, please. We have to go, now. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive. But it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. I'm actually not so sure about that. You don't think he's involved? He was with me whenever the... Uh, whenever... She was left at the stairs. Yes, but all that means is he didn't do it alone. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, Everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Bigby. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to... have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. My dear Annie, oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? Look sharp, Woodsman. You have visitors. Why is he singing? Some sort of pathetic defensive mechanism. Never mind that, though. He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. I have too many methods to inspire him. Bluebeard, I told you not to touch him until we returned. I didn't. Well, barely. And yet you saw fit to retrieve it. It's hardly been used. Yet. 
Hello, Sheriff. Come to help? Because I think I have a secure handle on things. Yeah, help. Good. I didn't think you'd have any objections, of course, to this whole thing. Not with your history. But sometimes people surprise you. The Sheriff is here to carry out the rest of the interrogation. Oh, really? Let me tell the story. I can tell it all. About the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. <sighs> Woody. That you, Bigby? I didn't kill that girl, Wolf. And I don't have a thing to tell you, so get me the fuck out of these straps. Save your energy. You'll need it later. Woody, if you don't tell us who murdered Snow White, this right here is as good as it's ever gonna get for you. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this, Blue Dandy. I didn't kill anybody. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look, I got questions and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. Back at the bar, why'd you run? Look, I got nothing to say, so just... just let me go. Please, just let me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? I'll take care of it. What are you planning to do, exactly? Don't forget what we talked about. What did you tell him? I'm gonna make him talk, one way or another. I'm tied up here! Fuck! You want to tell me why you ran now? I ran because I didn't want trouble, okay? But I didn't kill that girl. I didn't kill anybody. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was! He is! He said Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now what do you exactly take that for? He knows what's happening. All right, that's something. Did you say that, Woody? Where are you talking about? Where was she supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? She was... nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? Just... forget it. Where's... where's my fucking stuff, anyway? I want to smoke. You, you took my smokes. We, uh, confiscated his belongings. For the time being. This was all we could find on him, in any case. Nothing exceptional to speak of. Much like the man himself, I'd say. I told you, fucking asshole! Get me out of this goddamn chair! Big B? It'll be hard to justify this level of brutality, is all I want to point out. I know you're upset about Snow, but- I'll handle this. Tell me what you meant by Snow wasn't supposed to be there. This is bullshit. It's not what you think. I don't- It's nothing, okay? Just leave it alone. Fucking horseshit. I didn't do anything. I can't just leave it alone, Woody. You need to tell me what you know. I didn't fucking say Snow, okay? I never- I never said that! Yes, you did. She, you snobbish ball of shit. She, I said. She should have never been there. I wasn't talking about Snow. Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about Snow, but who did you mean? Who wasn't supposed to be there? This has nothing to do with the fucking killings. I can't tell you shit. That- <laughs> Who wasn't supposed to be there? Who are you talking about? I don't... <coughs> I don't know what you're getting out of this. Bigby, enough's enough! Ichabod's right. He's grown used to your punches. It's time for more extreme measures. That's not what I meant. It's like the old days, huh? 
Yeah, it's like the old days. This is just a bi <laughs> bitch. Fucking bitch. Big B, don't do this. <clears throat> You're not getting any answers that way. Just stop. What's that? You want to know what this is? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Take a good fucking look. Take a good long look. Etch it into your fucking memory. I told you, I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Woody? Who wasn't supposed to be there? The whore! And the rest of it is my own personal business, dog. So untie these straps and let me out! Just tell me, right now, what's going on? Faith, alright? That's it. Faith! This pup here knows. Faith? This has to do with faith? Someone else was supposed to show up and this bitch I don't even know comes over. Who were you expecting? No damned idea. What was the plan? Who's behind this? You're really enjoying this, aren't you, Wolf? Who did you want to show up, and why? What was this about? What were you up to? What did you want to happen? Who was supposed to show up? If you don't start talking, and I mean fast, you'll pray to any god who'll listen that your mother never shit you into this fucking world. You won't do shit with the deputy there. I'm done with this whole fucking thing, Bigby. He should just be asking him questions. This is... Woody, I'm gonna start breaking bones. And I'm gonna start with the ones you need. Understand? That shit won't work anymore, Wolf. Shit. I swear to God, Woody. You're gonna be my own personal chew toy in about five seconds if you don't open your mouth and talk. You're a big stupid fucking mutt, and I'm not in the talking mood. Enough threats. Show him you mean it. Look, you better start talking right fucking now. Blow me. Do not fuck with me, Woodsman. You're a big, stupid fucking mutt, and I'm not in the talking mood. Faith shouldn't have been there. Who should have? It's not important. What should have happened, Woody? I'm not a fucking murderer! Come on, Big B. You have other options. Use them. It's obvious he's not giving anything up this way. Keep pushing it, Big B. He'll give it. going in your eye. Who were you expecting? Big B, really, this has gone far enough. Who was it? Tell me. Lily. Lily? Who's Lily? Lily is... Uh, uh, Holly's sister. Holly? The bartender? From the Trip Trap? Her sister's... Yeah, detective. Her sister's a prostitute. I was a regular of hers, okay? I paid, she did her thing, and that was it. When Faith came to the door, it just set me off. Lily usually comped me if I didn't have cash. Fucking bitch Faith didn't have any decency. So la fucking da congrats. You crack the case wide open, shithead. Sheriff, that is it, okay? I just... 
I have to put a stop to this. I warned you earlier, and you haven't listened. And now it's just truly gone too far. The man has rights. His rights are on temporary leave. Bluebeard, that's enough now. Snow deserves justice, Crane. You're not thinking of the bigger picture here. You never think out the ramifications for things. Beating information out of someone will simply never get the people aligned with us. I dare say this is the exact kind of infantile rashness that got Miss White killed. I only meant, you know. What's going on down here? What's going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Where the hell have you been all night, Snow? I was working on this case. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone. So I took care of it. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're... not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So... What's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? Because that's what my job is right now! I'm the Sheriff Snow. I go out and do the dirty work to keep you all safe. And what am I here for then? I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore! I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, I'm and... not yours to lose! I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... 
you know. Myself. Right. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Oh, that's enough. Hey, Amira, finish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? The woodsman may be a good-for-nothing drunk, but that don't mean you can just whack him around because you feel like it. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! I want an explanation. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. But I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough! Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. Are you... okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. Just tell me what you saw. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. <laughs> Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too, <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me. But, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? 
Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. <laughs> okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute. When you're ready. Hey, Mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. You're not much of a secret spiller, but can't you tell me who's the killer? I'm sorry, Bigby, I just can't say. Rhyme or no, it doesn't work that way. But as you know, I'm quite prolific, if you want me to show you someone specific. Okay, Mirror, can you see... where the fuck is Tweedledee? Mirror, mirror, show me Lily. And yeah, I think this rhyming thing is silly. Some things cannot be revealed. Once again, these lips are sealed. Figures. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. Come on. It's just a body, Snow. If you can't do this... No, I'll be fine. I want to be here. The glamour is so effective, it's... invasive. But... just do what you need to do. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Looks just like Faith's did. 
did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faye? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. If the neck wound was the same, there might be a ribbon in her mouth, too. Anything? Nothing. So, it's not exactly the same. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Do you see that? Could be a bruise. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. Oh. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It looks like it's failing, but glamours aren't supposed to do that. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow. I need to open her coat. Bigby, just let me. Making progress. Let's see what else we can find. I... Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here. Now that you're done burning people. What have you found out?
Well? We're still looking. Well, get on with it, then. We can't waste too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. We should keep going. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. Are you wearing silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I'm not sure yet. Something to do with these rings here. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I, I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think... This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Let me guess. It's my hair. Yeah. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Holy shit. Well, that helps explain the glamour. Kind of. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. With that tattoo, it's gotta be Holly's sister, Lily. The woodsman told me about her. You're right. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after...
Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar, here. Not too good right now. Oh, well, that's sad to hear. Me? Oh, I'm great, as usual. Uh -huh. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. You said it looked like Snow White. That true, love? Yes, it's true. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fabletown, why would you arrest the poor old woodsman, who you know had nothing to do with these murders? Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Both of you. Listen. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy! Ah, fuck! What'd I do? It's an honest question. Ah! Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Grant, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. All right, then. Actually, have there been any updates? Holly, I, I came here because... I have some questions. About your sister. Why now? Oh, shit. The body you found. Who was it? Ah, oh, fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want to... It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. We don't know what's important yet. I mean, isn't that evident? She was killed for a brooch. Just next time clear with me, all right? Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure?
I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh, God. I'm sorry. That was probably about... She was hooking to pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. Fees, huh? What kind of fees? Sounds like one of those old company store kinds of ploys, designed to entrap people by keeping them in debt. We can probably learn more at the club. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to- No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of, it, it's a formality with trolls. Of course. Okay, good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. <laughs>